Welcome to Tech Talks, presented by Masflow Technology, the number one full-service flow support and calibration company in the country. Now let's join Claude Nallen in the calibration laboratories of Masflow Technology. Hi, I'm uh, Claude Nallen with Masflow Technology. Masflow Technology was started by Eddie Daly. Uh, he was he was the owner, the founder, and the uh, only employee for a couple of years before he um, he hired me and I came in. We've been working together here for about 18 years. Eddie and I actually started working together in uh, 1989 uh, with a service company, and we we were specializing in Coriolis mass flow. And today, what what we'd like to talk about is is the calibration, certification, recertification of Coriolis flow meters. We pick Coriolis meters because in today's in, in today's industry, Coriolis is the most accurate, the most reliable flow meter that's that's out there. They're they're used commonly in, in very critical service applications such as custody transfer, um, anything that's that's got a very critical measurement. The reason that you recertify them is usually an internal decision that can be brought about by a contractual agreement through custody transfer or it can be brought about by an accreditation such as ISO 17025 in our case or in uh, ISO 9000. Whatever term or period of recertification is, is strictly an internal thing. But to recertify or recalibrate a Coriolis meter you should always come up with something that's very close to the original factory calibration. MassFlow has taken that stand and in fact anything that we find in a Coriolis meter, if it calibrates more than a half percent off of original factory calibration, we consider that a failed meter. And we'll call back and, and ask for instructions from the, the people that sent it in to us. Coriolis is that good of a meter. It, it shouldn't drift unless there's something wrong. And that's one thing that we can do. We not only certify meters, we can correct the calibration if it's necessary. We can repair Coriolis meters. We can troubleshoot. And in most cases, we can replace through an inventory that we carry. And also buy a, a very close relationship that we have with all of the, the major Coriolis manufacturers. The method that we use for calibration, uh, actually there's two different methods. One is gravimetric, where we compare mass total to a mass total. The other method that we use is called a transfer standard method. And with a transfer standard, we use a master meter that has been checked and certified by a gravimetric method, and then that master meter is compared to the test meter, the meter that we're testing, and that way we can compare it by total, or if we want to look at a flow rate comparison, we can do that as well. We have both gravimetric facilities and transfer standard facilities in both of our operating laboratories in Baytown, Texas, and in Sulphur, Louisiana. This particular lab that we have is, is a uh, transfer standard. Transfer standard means that we're, we're using master meters, meters that we have certified on our own gravimetric system. And these meters we're using as the master meter to compare to a test meter. This system has two CMF 400 micromotion meters, this one and, and the one over here. These two meters can be used independently for lower flow rates where we'll just use one of the meters to compare to the, to the test meter or with higher flow rates if we get up into a six or an eight inch meter then we'll flow through both of these sum the total and then compare that to the meter that we're testing now one thing that i, I mentioned earlier is that we we always try to maintain the factory original calibration because of how reliable these meters are and these two master meters, we have, we've got several tests on them. We certify them every quarter. We run them on a gravimetric system once a quarter. And we are still maintaining the original factory calibration on these. And that's something that's very important to us because 
the ability of a Coriolis meter to maintain the original cali calibration without deviating from that is indicative of the reliability of that meter. If, um, if we see a meter that changes uh, even a little bit every six months or every year, every time it comes in for a periodic recertification, that tells us that something's going on with that meter. And that could be process related, it could be metallurgy related, it could be something internal. Internal here, one of the coils of the magnets. It could be something in the transmitter. But seeing a constant change or a deviation from that factor original tells us that something is wrong. And we can, read, we can flag that, we can uh, talk with the customer about um, the, his requirements for accuracy, for stability and measurement, which we call repeatability. And that repeatability is, it, it, it's really more important than accuracy. Because without a solid repeatability, we can't maintain accuracy. We may hit it one time, but the next time it'll be somewhere else. And that repeatability is something that we really stress. We look for that in every calibration. And by, in our standard five-point calibration, the uh, point number one and point number five are both at the 100% flow rate. So we have a repeatability indication with every calibration that we do where the first calibration and the last calibration, if they don't come out very close to each other, then that tells us that we have a poor repeatability factor with that meter. That, that it's measuring constantly, it's repeatable, and it's something that you can depend on from one day to the next, one week to the next, even one year to the next. For more information, call 281-427-7284 or see us on the web at matslotech.com.